Right, hello, welcome. Um, I've just reminded Carol about yeah. something, what I'm, just, what I'm going to say now, uh -oh. of what you put in my birthday card. And I don't mind, I don't mind the viewers learning what you put in my birthday card. Oh, what did I say in your birthday card? You hope that in my 60th... Yeah. No, I'm 60, I will... Grow a new bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, your shape changes, doesn't it, as you go through different decades? I'm only jealous. I just I, I say that because um, um, this is from Bruce York of uh, Lewis, East Sussex. I think that Richard's obvious enjoyment of bottoms to be, to be found on the South Downs by studying the Ordnance Survey Explorer map number 122 should have extended to include the adjacent map number 123. <laughs> Here, one can find at least 43 more bottoms, <laughs> including the following. A machine bottom, Bible bottom, well bottom, home bottom, cow wish bottom, beacon bottom, blackstone bottom, Jerry's bottom, short bottom, foxhole bottom, gap bottom, clay bottom, shooter's bottom, ramble bottom and rough bottom. I think that's enough to be going on with. Yes, I should think so. Unbelievable that they get up well, in East Sussex. I know, where do you live? Rough bottom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, thanks very much indeed, uh, Bruce. That's uh, oh, very amusing. <laughs> yes, OK. Right, well, uh, very amusing, very interesting. It is a very interesting situation. Stuart Holden is our champion, and our challenger is Martin Rigby. Tell you more about Stuart in a minute. Here they are. Yes, well, uh, we're talking about bottom, but Stuart's certainly the tops. Uh, seven wins, of course, seven wins, so he's on the verge of uh, departing. Well, he will depart one way or another. Win, uh, he'll depart, of course, to the quarterfinals, and uh, loses, he'll depart. But if, surely he will be back in the quarterfinals with a record like his. It's seven great wins, including yesterday uh, the second uh, highest score of the 15 round series in the last three years. 137, just the, the highest uh, ever, uh, by the way, is Julian Fell, of course, at 148. So you've got to, a little way to go yet to uh, out Julian. Julian, but a wonderful performance <laughs> from Stuart Holden. Only one of those seven games did he score less than 194. That's uh, uh, this time last week. So well done, Stuart, a great performance. OK, round of applause for you. Great young man. Thank you. So I know it's a bit daunting for you, Martin, and I know yesterday you so wanted to go home, but uh, you know, you're a brave lad, uh, you've, you've watched him, his progress, but uh, here you are now in your own right, and good luck to you. He's married with two children, he comes from York, Chris and Laura, he's an IT business analyst, his hobbies are bridge, golf and crosswords, and he says this, that is when I'm not sleepwalking myself into his sister and brother-in-law's bed. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yes, it was a strange event, that they were in... They were staying at my house and they were using my bed. In the middle of the night, I got up, sleepwalking, and just got back in my bed next to my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I've never lived it down, and now yes, it's all okay. come back again. That, my lord, is the case for the defence, <laughs> yes. Uh, and, uh, oh, he was also hospitalised after attempting some DIY on his roof, and he fell off. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, Martin says that even if he does win, he won't be celebrating with a night on the tiles. <laughs> so good luck to good man, Martin Rigby. Well, now, with us in the corner again, we're delighted to welcome a man who's responsible for putting the O into radio. <laughs> now, that might sound like a compliment until you realise, that actually, that sound is people saying, Oh, not him again. <laughs> anyway, joking aside, it's a pleasure to welcome the hugely popular and entertaining Ken Bruce with the O-la-la -la of the dictionary, Susie Dent. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment coming from the man who put down and can't. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, well, here we go, uh, Stuart and Martin. Hi, Carol. I'll start with a vowel, please. Thank you. A. And another one. O. And a third. E. Consonant, please. V. And another one. H. And another. D. And another. N. Another consonant? T. And another one, please. And L. OK, start the clock.
Yes, Stuart. Seven. Seven. And Martin? Six. Six. Six, please. Halted. Halted. And you, Stuart? Ethanol. Mm. What's that? Some chemical? Mm. It's, yes. Uh, the Wait. chemical name for ethyl alcohol. That's absolutely right. I used yeah. to go out with her once upon a time. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yes, seven, seven letters, ethanol. Yeah, okay, right. Anything else, Susie? Uh, Taland is there um, as well. T-A-L-O-N-E-D for seven. Uh, now, Martin. Hi, Carl. Can I start with a consonant, please? You can, Martin. P. And another one, please. S. Mm -hmm. And another. M. A vowel, please. I. Another vowel. O. And another vowel. A. And a consonant. S. Another consonant. G. And a vowel, please. And E. And we start the clock. Seven. Seven, good. Stuart. Seven. Uh, Martin, seven. Ampas. Yeah, oh, yes. Bit of French here. Uh, Stuart. Magpies. Magpies. Yeah. Um, ampas, ampas. Yeah, very yeah. good indeed. Canton yeah. impas. Yep. Mm -hmm. And imposes. Yes. Is also there, but seven is as many as we can manage. Okay, well, seven's fine. Good, there it is. Um, are those S's upside down, Carol, or not? Might have been. Might have been. <laughs> <laughs> That I, I like things to be pretty perfect on this show. I don't like any sloppiness, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be getting in any blooper programmes, do we now? <laughs> that was an S with a big bottom. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, now, uh, round three we have. A vowel, please, Carol. A. And another. E. And another. A. Consonant, please. C. And another one. M. Another one. N. And another. T. And another. R. And finish with a vowel, please. And E. OK, start the clock. Okay, now, Stuart. Seven. Uh, right, and uh, Stuart, uh, uh, Martin? Seven also. Seven also, right. Seven for Martin is? Cremate. Cremate, yep. And Stuart? Cremate. Cremate. Yeah, fine. Absolutely fine, yes. Uh, cremate is there. Yeah. Um, we, we've managed a couple of eight-letter words. Uh, Man-eater. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for something, isn't it? And uh, macerate is yes. there as well. Yes, absolutely, which is to a uh, food to be softened by liquid. Macerate. Macerate, great word, great word. OK, well, we got seven, did we not, I think, there? Folks, yes, 21 and uh, 14. And we have four... Fourth round now for letters. Consonant, please, Carol. Thanks, Martin. N. Uh, another one. Q. And a better one, please. <laughs> Can't promise. B. Vowel, please. O. Another vowel, please. E. Consonant, please. R. Another consonant, please. D. Another consonant, please. F. And a final vowel, please. OK, thank you. Ah, oh, you've got the U. Well done. Yeah, absolutely.
Um, so Martin. Seven. And Stuart. Seven. Yeah, Stuart, seven. Rebound. Rebound, yes, the RE, of course, is probably more use than the QU in this case. Uh, rebound, Martin. And bounder. Oh, bounder. Right, rebound, bounder, Ken, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, founder. Founder. There, uh, as well. And refound, which mm. is rediscovered. Yeah. Okay. Almost. And uh, unrobed is also allowed. You would have imagined disrobed is the way, but it, you can be unrobed, mm. yes. um, I suppose, without being disrobed. Mm. Actually, refound is, an, is a, an active verb. If you refound a city, for example, mm. so rather than being a state, it's something you do to something. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, 28, 21. Well, Stuart, now you love the numbers, don't you? It's your last time you're going to ask Carol for the numbers <laughs> until uh, the quarterfinals, so what are you going to say? Two big ones, please, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and four little ones. Four little ditty ones. They are seven and two. Five and two from the top, 25 and 100, and a target of 418. Okay, 418, gentlemen, here we go. Stuart. 418. 418. Good. Martin. 418. Okay. Um, Martin. Right. 100. Yes. Times 2 times 2. Yep. It's 400. 25 minus 7. Yes. Is 18. Add it on, obviously. Yeah. And Stuart. Exactly the same. Yeah. It is. <laughs> OK, well, we're all set there for a very good uh, end of uh, first half. 38 and 31. So, yes, I think quite, you were a bit nervous, weren't you, really? It's, okay. Yeah, still am. No. So am I. <laughs> as sure as hell Ken is, because he's on. <laughs> Twitching away yeah. right now. Um, I've been very lucky to work with a lot of musicians in my career. Rock musicians who uh, have done sessions on the programme, like Travis and Counting Crows, and also some of the big orchestras who work for the BBC. It's been great fun. And you, there's not as much difference between rock musicians and classical musicians as you might think. They, they all turn up and do their work, but they all got wicked senses of humour, particularly against each other. You know, classical musicians tend to denigrate viola players. Rock musicians tend to have a grudge against drummers. You know. Things like, uh, how can you tell when there's a drummer at the door, the knocking speeds up, that kind of joke. <laughs> um, but uh, there's one story from the classical world that I always enjoy, which is about a, a grand operatic singer who was in to do a concert with uh, the orchestra. After the first run through, the first full rehearsal with the orchestra, the conductor turns to the musicians in the orchestra, says, uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, get your pencils out, one or two notes for you after that. Uh, bars one to six will be in five four time, not four four time as it's written. Uh, there will be no one bar rest at bar 12 here, just go straight through there. The section from letter C to letter D will be transposed to the key of F. Uh, there will be no ralentando, no slowing down at bar 108, just go right through that. There will be a gap halfway through the final bar, and the last note will be two beats longer than written on the score. And the musicians are all writing this down, and the singer says, Maestro, have, have you no notes for me? And he turns to her and says, you just sing it the way you did exactly that time, and it'll all be fine. <laughs> but, uh, of course, uh, the other joke about singers is, how do you know when there's a vocalist at the door? First of all, they can't find the key, and <laughs> then they don't know when to come in. <laughs> oh, ready. Well said. <laughs> We're well, coming in with our teaser. Here's the, uh, here's the little word here, the eight-letter word jumbled up. Mini-rage, mini-rage. Here's the clue. These oats belong to me and make my head ache. What's that noise? Well, there it is again. Careful. See another? Yeah. It can't hurt, can it? Michael! Get 
closer and find out how to get curves in all the right places. Plus, Ulrika talks exclusively about her pregnancy. Get closer now. Need a release. <laughs> Try new cherry menthol flavor airwaves and breathe easy. Ten people are about to change their lives. My goal is to lose weight so I can start a family. My boyfriend does not find my physique sexually attractive. I'm coming to the Fet Farm so I can be a glamour model. Things in life are achievable. Work hard and you'll get there. It's make or break at the Fit Farm. Starts Monday at 6 on 4. These oats belong to me and make my headache. They're my grain. These oats are my grain. <laughs> yes? Get it, everybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. Good girl. Good, mm. good, good. Right, 38, 31 for Martin and Stuart here. Martin, to go with your letters, please. Consonant, please, Carol. P. Vowel, please. I. Consonant, please. R. Another consonant, please. S. Another consonant, please. T. Vowel, please. A. And another vowel, please. O. And another vowel, please. I. Mm -mm. And a consonant, please. And a consonant, OK. And L. Thank you. Starting the clock. Stuart? Seven. Stuart? Taylors. Taylors, Martin? Taylors. Yep. OK. Again. Taylors is good. And uh, we found another seven-letter one. Old nautical expression, topsail. Topsail. Yes. Like a vast behind, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back to your bottom again, aren't we? <laughs> I'm turned round this way, thank you. <laughs> Right then, well done. Seven apiece, gentlemen. 45, 38, <laughs> onwards and upwards, indeed. Uh, round seven, Stuart. A vowel, please, Carol. U. And another. E. And another. A. Consonant, please. S. And another. T. And another one. Y. And another. K. Hmm. And another one. L. And another consonant, please. And D. Thank you. Stuart? Seven. And Martin? Seven. Right, seven for Martin is? Stalked. Yes, and Stuart? Saluted. Stalked, saluted. Both fine. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. And we couldn't find anything better or uh, longer than that. Right, well, fair enough, Ski. Round eight is more letters. Martin? Consonant, please. C. And another one, please. M. And another. G. Vowel, please. E. Another vowel. O. Consonant, please. S. 
Another consonant, please. N. N. Um, another vowel, please. I. And another consonant, please. And D. Yes, clocking on. Seven. Stuart. Eight. <laughs> That's the seven then, Martin. Uh, Cummings. Cummings, yes, Cummings. Here's an eight. Demonics. Hmm. Demonics. Yeah, we'll just check that it's pluralised. Demonic obviously will be there as an adjective, but it will need to be a noun as well. Um, and it's not, no, it is just there as an oh. adjective. It's demonism, um, which is the, you know, the this is probably the thing you're thinking of, but no demonics, I'm afraid. Mm. OK, so Sorry. Cummings. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Guess the point. Mm. There right. are some eight-letter words, actually. Um, yeah. Genomics. Mm -hmm. Which, Susie? That's a, a branch of molecular biology. Mm -hmm. Genomics. And yeah. cognized. Yep. Cognized, which means to... Oh, you should have used it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, become aware of. Yeah. Cognized. Yep. Oh, cognized. Right. Yeah. Well, that's an um, interesting position here. 52 and 52, then, I think. Yeah, there it is. So good. Round nine, letters for Stuart. A vowel, please, Carol. A. And another. E. And another. I. Thank you. <laughs> and a consonant, please. P. And another. L. And another one. S. And another. N. And another. D. And a final vowel, please. And you. Okay, I'm starting the clock. Stuart. Eight. An eight, and Martin. <laughs> six. <laughs> right. All right, we go for the six, Martin. Just planes. Planes? Yes. He will get to his eight in the end as this young man, don't worry. No, I'm not <laughs> sure about this one. Oh, what's that one? Unsailed. Uh, it does sound unlikely. And un un no, it's not there. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's quite a selection of seven letters. Sundial, spindle, uplands. Quite a lot of them there, but uh, eight seems to be beyond us. Yeah. yeah. OK, well, that's good. 52 and 58. So now, Martin, the IT man from York. It's your numbers, please. Right. Um, one large and five others, please. OK, thank you, Martin. Uh, right here. They are seven and three, two and eight, one and fifty. I haven't seen that for a while, actually. And a target of five hundred and twenty-six. Thank you. Five two six. Five two six. Five two six, then everybody. Martin. Five two seven. One away, Stuart. Two away. Five two four. Okay, we'll look at look at uh, five two seven then. Ooh. Come on, Martin. Sorry, <laughs> fifty times eight plus two. I know I've blown it. Okay, okay. and over to Stuart. Eight plus two is ten. 
Yeah. I, said, I said a 524. 5, 5, 2, 4, yeah. Yeah, 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. 10. Um, times the 50 is 500. Yeah. And uh, 7 plus 1 is 8. Yes. Multiplied by the 3 and you get the 24. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, 524. Yeah. 524. Okay. By the skin of my teeth. Yeah, that's the skin of teeth. Okay, Carol? Uh, yeah, I've forgotten how to do it myself now. Uh, 50 plus 1 <laughs> is 51. 7 plus 3 is 10. Multiply the 2 together, 510. And then 2 times 8 is 16. And add that on, 526. Okay. Well, narrow the gap to one point there. 59 and 58, so the stage is set for a th uh, thrilling uh, third half here. Uh, but before we get to that, here it is, pick list. Pick list. And I tell you, if it's on your collar, it'll be telling tales. <laughs> When a mouth ulcer pops up, Bongella's Triple Action helps kill germs, reduces swelling and relieves pain. Don't put up with it, sort it with Bongella. I like mine Brita filtered. Less hardness, less chlorine, fewer impurities. Brita, it's clear from the taste. That's 48 quid, mate. 48? <laughs> no, that's fine. I mean, yeah, thank you. Hey! 48 quid! What are you doing if it's just a... <laughs> Only 48 quid. Didn't want the late one then, no? You turn it! And you didn't even use an egg card! You get 0% on balance transfers until the 1st of September 2004. You get 0% on everything you buy until the 1st of September 2004. And there's no annual fee. Cracking! Well, at least your shirt fits, unlike some people. Shut up. Sort yourself out at egg.com. Yes, lipstick. Lipstick on your collar tells a tale on you. Who mm. did that? That was Connie Francis. Connie yeah, Francis. 1959, I think. Mm. Look, 59 for the champion. Seven times a winner. And what a challenge here. We're only one point ahead of uh, the challenger, Martin. Now, you've never been in that position uh, at this stage. Nope. So close. So, we have five interesting rounds ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start with round 11. And it's Stuart to go, the champion. A vowel, please, Carol. E. And another. I. And a third one. A. Consonant, please. H. And another. X. And another. T. And another. R. And a fifth. C. And another consonant, please. And F. OK, here's a, uh, the clock. Stuart, what do we say? Seven. Seven, and Martin? A risky seven. A risky seven. Better have the risky one. Fitcher. A fitcher. Uh, Stuart? Theriac. <laughs> Spell, please. T-H-E-R-I-A-C. Fine words, fine words, but yeah. aren't they there? Fitcher, I'm afraid, I can't say now is not there, because a fitch is a polecat, but there is not a fitcher. Um, and theriac, I think, is... Absolutely fine. It's an archaic word, an ointment or other medicinal compound used as an antidote to snake venom. <laughs> fantastic. Nothing, nothing as good as that. That's a fantastic word. I just don't, don't know whether it comes up in normal conversation for Stuart. <laughs> Theriac. OK, well, that's brilliant. So then, uh, how many is that? That's seven, isn't it? So it's clickety-click there, and 58. Now then, Martin. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. N. A vowel, please. O. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another vowel, please. I. Consonants, please. M. Another consonant, please. B. 
Vowel, please. O. Consonants, please. W. Vowel, please. I. And consonants, please. And R. Thank you. Clocking on. Five, Stuart. Five. Right. Um, uh, Stuart's five. Brown. Uh, brown, yes, Martin. Moron. Mor I'm not being personal. No, you can be. It's OK. <laughs> no, I regard that as a, as a compliment. It's one of the <laughs> nicest things people have said. <laughs> moron. <laughs> anyway, moron and brown, yes. <laughs> Fine. Uh, we can't really beat uh, the moron, I'm afraid. Uh, we do have brown for five as well, and minor for five. Yeah. It, it looks as if there should be, you know, a longer word there, doesn't it? Yes. But we have found something. Well, there is, yes. Actually, moron gave us the clue. So we didn't have this before, but there is morion, if you put an I in the middle, which is kind of helmet without a visor worn by soldiers in the 16th and 17th <laughs> centuries. <laughs> and morion, of course. That's right. <laughs> Like yeah. All right, well, good. <laughs> OK, down to the last three uh, rounds now. 71 and 63, still actually wide open, I suppose. Uh, there's letters from Stuart. Start with the consonant, please, Carol. T. And another. R. And another. L. And a vowel. U. And another one. A. And another. E. Consonant, please. P. Another consonant. M. And a vowel, please. And O. OK, clocking on. with an eight now. Martin? Seven. Oh dear. OK, what's the seven? Ampoule. Ampoule? Ampoule, O-U-L-E. Oh, yes, like a... a Small bottle of it. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, capsule thing. Yeah. But here's an mm -hmm. eight. Emulator. Want to spell that? E-M-U-L-A-T-O-R. O-R, yes, yep. very good indeed. That's it. Okay. Emulator, yes, uh, a good eight-letter word. And one other eight-letter word we found, temporal, as in the Lord's temporal. The Lord's, yes, there we go. There it is. So, of course, 79 and 63, 17 separating them, 20 available. Numbers from Martin. You choose, Carol, please. Just one from the top, okay. if that's all right, Martin. I'll take that one. I have no idea what they are. But uh, let's have a look and see. Two and two, that last time. Four and nine... 8 and 25, and a big target, so it might not be easy, 771. Seven, yeah, OK, 771. It, everybody. So, 771, Martin. 773, I think. OK. That's, you have to go with that. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm nowhere near it. OK, right. So, 773 has a chance here, then. 8 times 4. 8 multiplied by the 4 is 32. Subtract 2 divided by 2 to give 31. Oh, I see where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
31, yes. Times 25. I see, yeah. Is uh, 775. Yeah, and then use a number I've already used before and I've cracked it. Uh, use that for that. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> OK, no, that is bad luck. We thought we were there with that one. So that's relief to Stuart. There was, uh, there's a bit of relief on Stuart's <laughs> face, I'm, I'm afraid, uh, for you, Martin. So, um, well, Carol, you do it. Uh, I got 770, so I'm still one away, but I'm sure it's possible, because mm. it's a nice selection of numbers OK. Here, not in the time. Well, it's going to the tea time again, but uh, now we come to the conundrum. After all this, after all this now... So if you're both ready for this, please reveal today's countdown conundrum. And that's the buzz of Martin to say. Fathoming. Fathoming, which is, young man? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what a game, what a game. You started with nothing, Martin, on the first round, and you are now within three point, uh, six points of... Uh, of the championship, but uh, there it is with 79 points. It's his lowest one so far. He didn't get, he didn't get the conundrum. I don't care. But he'd know he doesn't care. <laughs> of course he doesn't care because he has won uh, eight games on the trot. He is our second Octavian of the series. Well done, Stuart Holden. Thank you. And, uh, not only that, Stuart, with that uh, terrific performance of yours, you are uh, the number one seed so far, so that's fantastic. So, a great moment. So, we give him the huge goodie bag. There are all those things in the goodie bag which you well deserve. Thank you. And I hope you have fun with those, and we'll see you again uh, in the quarterfinals in June. So, farewell to a great, great uh, contestant here, kept us well entertained in the last week and a half, Stuart Holden. Thank you. And so, Mr Rigby, it's back to York. Yes. Back to York we go. He works in a chocolate factory in York. Uh, he is, of course, as you can see, a bit of a smarty, having got that conundrum. Um, but uh, here's a goodie bag for you. So you put up a great fight. It was a great show today. Well done. Martin Rigby. So, phew, I think we're all a bit uh, gobsmacked after that. So... Uh, our first two tomorrow on, of course, looking for a new champion, we have Krista Simpson. Hi, Krista. Hiya. Conundrum, yes? Just, yeah. Just, right. And Ben Phillips from uh, London. Hi, Ben. Conundrum? Uh, yeah, I got it. Right, OK. <laughs> well, they're, they're good friends sitting together there, and they'll be sitting together here tomorrow. So that's them tomorrow. For these today, thank you, guys. Great show. Dictionary Corner, of course. Goodbye, Ken. Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye. And goodbye from Richard Whiteley. Goodbye. win the lottery. Caroline Katz and Lisa Faulkner are uncovering all sorts.